What's up guys, this is Adrian with Scrape Creators and today we're going to be scraping Twitter using my API, the Scrape Creators API, this one right here. We have a bunch of social medias available, but today we're going to be focusing on Twitter. And with this API, it's really simple to use. You just need an X API key, which you can get by going to app.scrapecreators.com. And then you just enter in the handle or someone's username, I call it handle, but this is uh, like this right here. So Elon Musk, that would be his handle. And we can get the profile, so basic things like their biography, follower count following, uh, website that they have on there. Then we can also get their tweets. Note that this doesn't get their latest tweets. This will scrape this, which is the publicly available tweets. So if you're in an incognito browser, you can see all the tweets that it returns. And it's not their latest ones. It doesn't go chronological. So obviously this one is from a while back. So this just returns like their top ones, like with the most engagement. So that is a bummer, but I'm only getting publicly available data. If you want data behind the login at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can get that also. And then finally, if you have a tweet URL, then you can get the details of the tweet using this endpoint here. And you just need to pass in the URL. And then you can see the response examples in the right hand window over here, as well as code examples of how to make the request. And then to make it even easier for you, you can copy this prompt and then paste it into ChatGPT, you know, LLM of your choice. And hopefully it writes the exact code that you need and you won't even have to code it much yourself. But we are also going to be using this repo or this um, code that I've already pre-written. So you can refer to this, this is gonna be in Node.js. And what we're going to be doing is using this file, apis.js, which where we already have function calls to call those APIs. So this one will call the profile endpoint and then again, passing in an XAPI key header. And we're going to be using Axios. So you just npm install Axios for that. And then here's to get the user tweets and then the individual tweet details. So pretty easy. And there's no paginating because even the tweets endpoint will just return the last like 100 tweets. And then we're going to log how much time it took also. And then write to, so this fs write file sync we're just writing the details to test.json. And then to make this go faster, we're going to make all of these calls concurrently, at least for like the getting the user tweets and profiles, et cetera. So instead of making this into a for loop, then we just promise to all, and then all the requests fire off at once and saves us a lot of time. So we're just going to be calling this for Elon and my profiles. So let's get their prof you know, our profiles first. So node twitter.js and then took about three seconds, so pretty fast. So we can verify everything is working by going to test.json. So you can see all of the de details here, like rest ID, ID, and then these URLs, business label, yeah, favorites, followers, friends, I think that's following, blah, 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 that's for Elon, and then me is down here, and you can see like the URL that I have in the bio, yeah, these different URLs here, bio, yeah. Now if we wanna get the tweets, let's check that out. So we're gonna comment that, out, comment this in and run node, node twitter.js again. All right, sweet, 8.5 seconds. And then if we check this out, this is going to be huge. And there's a lot of things to go through here. I think that's the author stats. It looks pretty similar to the uh, profile stuff. But here's the actual text of the tweet. So you can see full text, which is probably the most important part of the tweet. Yeah, reply count, uh, quote. Yeah, so you get all of the uh, stats right there. All right, finally, let us get individual tweet details. So I have three of my tweets right here. So this one is, I think my pin tweet. Yep. And let's go ahead and run this. Two seconds, pretty fast. And I think this is going to return, yeah, pretty much the same format as the list of tweets. So if we look for full text again, then, yep. And what's a bummer is you can't even get replies uh, to this. But let me show you a way that you can get that information. So this is my friend Brian's product. This is socialdata.tools. And he's um, actually made this nice API that gets you the latest tweets, like the, the entire thread, someone's followers following, and his documentation is right here. And my affiliate link is in the description below. And if you wouldn't mind using that, that would really, really help me out. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, but check that out. And then check out Scrape Creators if you need any other social media data. So I have Reddit, Threads, even Truth Social, and then I have all the ad libraries, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. So check that out, scrapecreators.com. Thanks.